As you know, Al Gore is on a mission to raise awareness about global warming. But CBS News science and technology correspondent Daniel Seberg met a young man who has his own inconvenient truth. Daniel, good morning. Exactly. Good morning, Jeff. You know, while politicians debate, everyday citizens of all ages are doing their part to raise awareness of climate change. And I got a chance to meet one of the most committed activists. From the West Coast in Los Angeles. We could be underwater right here where we are. To the East Coast in New York. All of Lower Manhattan would be underwater. 15-year-old Alec Lures takes his message across the country, using polls to illustrate the predicted sea level rise if nothing is done to prevent global warming. There's a line at the top that says you will be underwater here. And his mission really includes keeping the air real. cleaner by planting trees and encouraging conservation, like using energy-efficient light bulbs. That is a solar light. And um, he helps empower other kids. It's true, we are the future, but we are more than that. We're here now, uh, and we are the present, so our voices do make a difference. But Alec's voice also has the support of a former vice president. At the age of just 12, he applied to be part of Al Gore's network of official speakers. It took some persistence, but eventually Alec was accepted. Uh, Alec Lures uh, <laughs> is from your community. The, at the first event where I met him, he actually introduced me to his crowd and talk, talk, talked about what I did, and that, that really opened up a lot of doors, and it was really cool that he did that. Chalkish rock, and you're able to ride with it? And Alec's cool factor certainly isn't lost on his friends and family members. Yeah, I'm very glad that Alec has really, really taken the bull by the horns and is really trying to get the message out. We have to take the action and not just wait for other people to fix our own problems. Ultimately, Alex says it's a universal message that applies to everyone. Let's work together to change the world and not just occupy it. Well, Alec will continue his fight in the coming months on both the national and international stage. He's scheduled to speak at climate change conferences in Colorado, Copenhagen, and Guitar. He's a busy kid. <laughs> Both inspiring and depressing to see that someone half our age has accomplished more. Yeah, he's more way than ahead of us, I think. <laughs> um, so he does all this stuff. How does he, does he go to school? He does, in a sense. He's actually allowed to do this work as part of his curriculum. It's kind of a homeschooled school that he's in on the, on the West Coast in California. So it's kind of both at the same time. He's getting life experience and this great education. Good for him. Daniel Seberg, thank you very much. You